Hola mi gente and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, hi my name is Alexandra and I would love for you to join the family. So for today's video, I am super excited because I am going to test out Morphe 2. Now when Morphe 2 launched, I was so excited because it's like showing a different side of Morphe. So as soon as it launched, I went onto that website and got one of each product. So I have the skin tint. I have a little story on this. I have the Morphe 2 Jelly Eye Shimmer. I have the Gloss Pop Face and Eye Gloss. I have the Glassified Lip Oil. I have the Brush Collection. I have the Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse. And yeah, so. If you guys want to see my review on these products and what I think about them, I am always sure to give honest reviews and my true opinion. Then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get on to the video. So first I am going to prime my face like I usually would with my go-to primer because I know how this primer works and I have tried it with all of my foundations new or old and it never affects how the foundation wears or the end result of the foundation or how it applies onto the skin so this way I'm giving the skin tint a fair chance so I'm gonna tell you guys a little story with the skin tint now I have two shades but I did not do that on purpose so what had happened was I was on the Morphe site and I had clicked Hint of Toast, which is what I thought would be my shade. And then I went, I paid all good. But then I realized on my receipt that it said Hint of Toffee. <sighs> Let me tell you guys, I got so stressed when it said that. I was like, but I didn't put that shade. I had put Hint of Toast in my cart. So then I figured that probably the website from Morphe had automatically changed what I had put in my cart from hints of toast to hints of toffee, which I am telling you guys, this is super dark for my skin tone. It would never work for me. So I decided to email and call Morphe to tell them the issue I was having. And they basically told me that I couldn't get a refund and they couldn't change the order once it was made because they try to ship it out as soon as possible. And if anything, I could cancel my whole order, but it's not guaranteed. So then I was put in the position that I just took it. I let it be as it was because I had all of these other products in the cart and everything was sold out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it thinking that I was the only one with this problem. But it turns out when I went on to Morphe's Instagram, people were commenting the same problem. So I wasn't the only one out there who had this problem. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of upset me. This has never happened to me before with Morphe. So from the start, I was a little upset, but it's okay, I guess. And then I just ordered separately hints of toast and I double checked in the cart that I said hints of toast. So hopefully this is my shade. And they say to shake this really well because I am I think this is a water-based formula and this is sheer to medium coverage. And I am going to use the brush with this because I want to get the most amount of coverage from this because of my hyperpigmentation in my pimples, which I do have a few. So yeah, that was my experience with the skin tint. Again, I'm a little upset about that. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys had the same problem. But let's get to testing out this formula. Now, I don't know if the, I got this in golden. Sometimes I feel like I'm neutral. Sometimes I'm golden. It depends on how the undertone is. Sometimes golden is orangey or yellow. I prefer it when it's yellow. And neutral, I find, tends to run red. So I went with golden. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. It's very watery as you can see. I can tell already on my hand this is not going to be a yellow based formula. It's going to look a little orange. Hopefully it will be okay on my skin. Okay, so it's not that bad. Again, it is leaning more orangey. But I want to see how much courage I can get out of this formula. And so far it is pretty decent coverage. 
Again, it is a skin tint, so I did not expect much. But you know, sometimes I want to not wear that much coverage for foundation, you know? Even if I have acne and hyperpigmentation, sometimes I want that more natural finish type of day. Now, I am telling you guys right now, I'm using a lot of drops. So do not expect to not use a lot of this product if you want more coverage. Now, on the website, it definitely says that you could make the coverage however you want. Like, for example, if you want barely any coverage, you could use your fingers. Or if you want more of a medium coverage like I am, use the brush. And so far, it is blending nicely into the skin. Again, you can tell it looks orange on my skin. So if you get golden, just know it's more orange toned than yellow. So I'm just going to bring this down my neck a little bit to make this work somewhat. I had a feeling that I should have gone with neutral, but I didn't want it to look red. Okay, so that's one layer of foundation. And I'm just going to see if I can build it up a little bit more. Just where I have that hyperpigmentation and acne. And I am liking the brush. It is blending out nicely. And I feel like it was made for this skin tint. And it is definitely building up the product nicely, giving me the amount of coverage that I want. All right, so that is two layers built on my skin. I look very orange. Like, that is really orange. But for some skin tones, that can work. For mine, that is not working at all. And I just felt like on the website, it was a little hard to determine what shade you could be in the skin tint. The good thing is though with this, you can make it work because it is so light coverage. But obviously, if you build it up more like I do, it is more apparent if it doesn't match your skin tone or your undertone, like it is for me. This is not matching my undertone. But that is okay, we are going to make it work. So far, it is really nice. You don't feel it on the skin. It's breathable, it gives a nice radiance to the skin. It covered up pretty well my hyperpigmentation. It is showing a little bit still, but not as much. You can always just go with a concealer on top if you want to, that matches your skin tone. I do have a concealer that matches my skin tone, but since it is more neutral base, it is not gonna go well with this skin tint. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. And again, it is not emphasizing any texture. It is hydrating, which I like. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer, which is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Sand. Now this is more yellowy undertone. So I'm hoping this will help with this orangey undertone that I have going on here. And just help balance it out. Cause I'm looking very orange at the moment. So again, I'm hoping this will help tone down the orangey of this skin tint. I, I don't want to call it a foundation because it's not a foundation. It is a skin tint like they say. And I'm just going to contour with this concealer as well. Because again, we're going for that natural look. So we don't want too much for contour. Well, our nose. I don't think I'm going to bronze my face today because again, we're going for that natural look. That Morphe 2 is all about. And right now I'm just putting whatever is left of that concealer onto my eyelids. All right, now I feel like the concealer really did help because I was looking a little too orange and I think I have gotten it to make it work. So now I'm just gonna set my eyelids with some powder. And then I'm just going to take out the creases under my eye. I'm gonna take some powder on my sponge and I'm just gonna set the under eyes lightly, not baking, just lightly setting so that our under eye area does not crease like crazy. And I got some foundation on my lips. Ooh, my lips probably look crazy right now. All right, now we are going on to the Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse. Now, right off the bat, it reminds me of the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler Cheek and Lip Mousse. And they look exactly the same. The formula looks the same in the containers. This is the Maddie one and this is the Morphe 2 one. And this one's in a maze. Now, 
See, it is a moussey texture. This is the matte one. This is how it looks like blended onto the skin. And it feels like it's a dry formula once blended out. And then the Wonder Tint one feels like exactly the same. And blends out exactly the same to that powdery finish. Which doesn't surprise me at all. It is coming from the same brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a maze. Which happens to be Charlie and Dixie's favorite blush color. But the reason why I got it was because they were selling out like crazy. And this was the last shade left. Now I will tell you this. In the containers. The containers are a little bit different from the Maddie and Morphe one. Morphe 2 is... A little shorter and longer and the matte one is a little bit more bulkier I don't know if you can tell the difference from my last review I did not like the moussey formula but I did try it on powdered makeup I'm telling you right now if you're gonna use these moussey products do not use it on top of powder that was just a whole bad experience don't do it. Do not apply this mousse on top of powder. It will be just a patchy mess. So now, I'm going to see how it applies without any powder on. I just powder my under eye area, nothing around my nose or anything where I apply blush sometimes. And I'm going to take it with the brush and see how it blends it out onto the skin. I want to see if it picks up any foundation or any concealer like it did last time. I was hoping that last time it was because of my powder. Hopefully this time it won't pick up any product and it will blend out easier. And you can see that when you first apply it on, it has like, it picks up the product very odd. It's something I've never seen before. It has like the product in like little ball forms. Now I'm just gonna put that on the skin. You see, it like puts the product very weirdly. Can you guys see that? Right here so weird see like how it disperses it it's what makes me like worried so i'm just going to start applying this to the apples of my cheeks and then up now i see it's not to be picking up any of that foundation now i would say to blend this out onto your hand first because it does seem to ball up now again this color does look intimidating but it is really pretty. It gives a natural kind of blushy moment to the skin. And on this side, I feel like I want a little too ham. So I'm just going to go on top of it with my sponge. Now that's the nice thing about cream products. You can like tone it down if you feel like you need to. The blush applied pretty nicely. It didn't pick up foundation like it did when I powdered my face. But I am honestly just not a cream blush type of person. And I don't like how it just balls up and you have to spread it out in your hand. But it does look really nice and natural on the skin. Okay, now let's go into the Jelly Eye Shimmer, which is... What called the most attention to me when I saw the launch of this product. I got it in Walla because I am a bronzy gold type of girl. I love my golds. I love them. And I'm just going to take this on my finger and swatch it out for you guys. It is smooth. There's nothing like the most. This is how it looks. Very beautiful. It has a slight shimmer to it. It looks really nice. So what I think I'm going to do, I was going to just put this on to my eyes alone. But I feel like I need a little bit of wash of color. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to add a nice neutral brown background. And for that, I'm going to take my Morphe X Maddie Zeigler palette. And I'm going to go into M3 just because I think it will look really nice with that gold shadow. And it's a beautiful warm tone brown. Plus, I want to see how the jelly eye shimmer goes on top of powder. I'm sure it will look beautiful. And then I'm just going to make the shape I want my eyeshadow to be. Give my eye a little bit of dimension. Alright, now that we have a nice neutral background, nice, simple, and easy. Now we can go into the eye shimmer. I'm going to take it with my finger and I'm just going to apply this to the lid. Like I would with a shimmer. And I am building this up as much as I can. 
Now I'm just gonna bring a little bit of that shimmer up all over the lid because I love a good shimmery moment, okay? And it looks so beautiful. It does dry down pretty quickly, I will give you that, but it does give you enough time to play with it and build it up to the intensity you want it to have on the lid, which I really appreciate. And honestly, I am putting as much as I want. And listen, you could like do as I am and just applying it all over the eyes, but I am concentrating the most on the lids. But again, that's just because I want to. And then I'm just gonna clean it up with a sponge. I think so far this is like my favorite product in the collection. And I'm just gonna take the small brush that came with the collection and I'm just gonna apply M3, which is that brown that I put as my transition. And I'm just gonna apply it to the lower lash line so everything looks tied together. All right, now it is time to try out the Gloss Pop Face and Eye Gloss. Now this I am a little scared about. I have a feeling it might pick up foundation, but we shall see. This is how it looks on the hand. It is very like Vaseline-y texture to me. I am pretty skeptical to how this is going to apply onto the face. I don't think I would like it personally, but I mean, uh, it's not a type of product I would like. Like, it feels pretty oily on the skin, which tells me it sooner or later is going to break apart the skin tint on my face. So I can tell you right now, I'm not going to like this product. I'm sure, like, when I don't want to wear any makeup at all, this will look really nice, like on bare skin. But I don't, I don't really like it on top of makeup. Cause I feel like because of the consistency, it will cause foundation to break. We'll see. I'll put in the description box below if it did make anything break apart later on throughout the day. And you know what? I am going to add a little bit of highlight to my inner corners. I'm going to go back into the Morphe X Maddie Zagler palette. And I'm going to take To The Moon, apply that into the inner corner of my eyes. And then my brow bone. And then we do have a specific lip product. This is the Glassify Lip Oil. And I got mine in Be Kind. Here is the applicator. It is a nice basic applicator. And let's see if it adds a little bit of tint to my lips. I could tell you right now, I do like this product because it feels nice on the lips and your lips feel nice and hydrated, which I need because I have dry lips. It does give a slight tint. Mine gave more of a reddish type of tint to my lips. All right, now just to tie in the whole look together, I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara since we are going for that more natural type of look that Morphe 2 is all about. All right, so here is the end result with the mascara applied, just to add a little something to the lashes. And now it is time to tell you guys my final opinion on all of these products. So I'm gonna go in order from what I tried. And the first thing I tried was the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint. And I think it is a nice natural hint of tint to the skin. Um, as you can see, it is already starting to emphasize the crease I have on the side of my cheek. So I could easily just blend that out. I am noticing it is breaking a little bit around my nose. Not too much, it's not that bad. Again, that's something that you could avoid by powdering it. But again, I prefer not to with these types of foundations. I think it provides pretty good medium coverage when applied with the brush. If you have a lot of hyperpigmentation and acne like I do, you can make it work. If you have a concealer that matches the foundation or your skin tone, in this case, I cannot use a concealer because this was a little too orange and my concealer would not match it. But it did apply nicely onto the skin. I feel like I have nothing on my skin. And I think this is nice for those natural days, even if you have acne and hyperpigmentation. Now, I do have an oily T-zone. I'm pretty sure my oils are going to show through 
throughout the day. But if anything, I will leave that in the comments down below. And if the foundation wore off or broke apart in certain areas. Next, I tried the blush. It's okay. The formula, I don't really like. The moussey texture just feels weird in my opinion. It's not even how it feels on the cheeks. It's how it picks up the product in the container. Like you saw it, like the product kind of balls up. And like you could see the texture. Like I don't know if you can see it, but you could see the texture in here. And I don't like that personally because you have to blend it out into your hand to make sure that that build up of product doesn't get on your cheeks. So personally, I just don't like the formula of this product. It does look nice and natural on the skin, but it's not my favorite formulation or formula. Now, the eye shimmer glaze, I do really like. It looks beautiful on the eyes. It applies nicely on top of powder. You could build it up to the amount of product you want. It has enough time for you to blend it on to your eyes. It is nice and glittery. It doesn't break apart on the folds of your eye. And I do really like the jelly eye shimmer. And I love the color I got, which is Woa. And then the gloss pop face and eye gloss. Personally, I don't like it either. It's just not the type of highlight I go for. And I just feel like it feels a little too oily and it will, I feel like it will make my foundation break or even the skin tint to break, I feel like. Just because of how oily it is. And it just stays sitting on the skin, which I just don't like personally. I don't like these type of highlights. I like more of a shimmery highlight. Not exactly a glittery one. And there's some powder highlights that just melt into the skin and give you that natural glow as well. So I just personally don't like this face and eye gloss. And I will let you know in the comments as well if it did break the foundation around it. And then the lip oil, I really did like. It feels nice and nourishing on the lips. Applies on nicely. I like the applicator. It gives a nice little tint of color to your lips. It doesn't make my lips stick together. And it gives you that shine that you want from a lip oil. And I really enjoyed it. And then the brushes I did like. I mean, Morphe brushes are always really nice. And overall, we did have some hits and misses. I think the product I liked the most was definitely the Jelly Eye Shimmer and then the lip oil. These are my two top products. I really like these two products. And then the foundation was okay. And all right. So that is the new Morphe 2. And these are my opinion on all of these products. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.